This first nation in west central Saskatchewan has 3,000 hectares of land, but just one house, the one being built behind us. And it's built from recycled wood from an old grain elevator. Well, here it is. It's one of a few dozen they're planning to build as part of a net zero community. The first lucky man net zero home. The chief of Lucky Man Cree Nation is stepping inside this house for the first time. I'm just thankful and, and grateful. That chief Crystal Okimau pushed for a design that would cut down on power bills and greenhouse gas emissions. You always think about the generations behind you coming um, and you want to leave uh, I'm aware of climate change so we just want to limit our carbon footprint as, as a nation. The timber for this house came from here. Old grain elevators that were carefully dismantled and instead of all this wood being hauled to the dump, it's being recycled. It's a delicate process unlike the alternative. with the stewardship of Mother Earth, right? This green construction design consultant says using wood that didn't have to go through the harvesting and processing chain reduces the carbon footprint. The idea was to reuse this mass timber, which is really strong and it's, uh, and it's in really good shape, as you can tell. It's a hundred year old wood we're, we're standing on, right? <laughs> doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> he also says it's well insulated and built to last. So this is the outside, the mass timber outside wall. Unlike most First Nations, Lucky Man Cree Nation never had a community on reserve. But with some federal money, it's finally ready to build on its land. I'm glad that we got a, a home, a land that we call it a home. I would come and live here anytime. And the road is the first thing that we need? Yeah. They've drawn up a master plan and hope to get more federal dollars. Chief Okimau says she's optimistic the community will be built net zero for the future. Dane Patterson, CBC News, Lucky Man Cree Nation.